Okay, this is take one of something you don't see every day. We're looking at the planet Jupiter on the evening of August 14th, 2017. Magnification here is approximately 250 power, let's say. We have it in a an image intensifier, a night vision device, looking into a Takahashi Milan 250 telescope with a 2x Barlow in the mix. The image intensifier is a uh, Photonis Intens with P22 phosphor, kind of a darker green than usual phosphors. The camera is a Sony Alpha 7S, and the settings are 1 60th of a second shutter, ISO is 500. So what you have here is the planet Jupiter and four moons, I'm pretty sure. I don't know which ones are which at this point, but the two furthest away from the planet must be the two furthest away, viewable. But this would be the four largest moons of Jupiter. Io, Ganymede, Callisto, and um, Europa. Just not sure which is which there. But notice how you can make out the cloud bands in real time. And it's, although there's a little bit of wavering, atmospheric wavering, it's not horrific. We are about an hour and a half, maybe two, from the meridian. I think the planet's near opposition, not sure when that's happening. Could have happened already, maybe it's a week or a week away, a week ago, I'm not sure which. But you got cloud belts there on that disk. Numerous cloud belts. I mean, one almost going down the center. They're, they're sort of across diagonally from like the, uh, well, let's say 8 o'clock lower left to 2 o'clock upper right position. Multiple bands, one, two, no, three, four, five, roughly. So real-time view, 60 frames a second of Jupiter. And, oh, and we're shooting this with a narrow band methane filter, 889 nanometer center line and a 12 nanometer band pass around that center line. So Jupiter in real time, through a night vision device, a modern Intens, which is supposedly a little bit stronger in the red responsivity than Gen 3. I may, if I have time tonight, attempt to do this with a Gen 3 tube. But this is Jupiter. Just slide it around a little there. It looks reasonably sized at 240 power, and I get the planet with the moons, which is kind of neat. Typically, when you use white light, you lose the moons because there's so much contrast, but here with this narrow band methane and the image intensifier doing its thing, it looks pretty cool. So there's Jupiter. That's it. End of take one.